In case you didn't know, Beyoncé is a huge star. So when it was time for her to go on a new world tour, you can bet a lot of money was spent to create an enormous show. And since we're talking about Beyoncé, you can bet the whole thing was filled with massive symbolism. I'm pretty sure long-time viewers of this channel aren't surprised at all. I made my first video about Beyoncé years ago, and since then, she's constantly released material that's full of deep meaning. There's a reason for that. Beyoncé has a special status in the music industry. She's the Queen Bey. She was given a royal status that's always reflected in everything she does. While her whole image has a goddess-like vibe, her status also means that she's the ultimate example for conveying the hidden messages and symbolism of the elite occult group. In many ways, she's the face of the global pop music industry. Ironically, when you decode the symbolism around her, Beyoncé is portrayed as the complete opposite of royalty. She's depicted as a robotic slave who follows the orders of those who programmed her. If that last sentence doesn't make any sense to you, don't worry. Just keep watching, because the imagery in her Renaissance World Tour couldn't be more obvious. The show is divided into six parts and tells a story about Beyoncé's rebirth as an android, which leads to a disturbing segment about mind control. Let's take a closer look at it. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Before the show even starts, the crowd gets treated to some colorful things, because, well, it's just obligatory. Remember, Beyoncé was created to push certain agendas, and the rest of the show explains how she was made, but in a symbolic way, of course. Right from the beginning, the show kicks off with some intriguing symbolism. It starts with a picture of Beyoncé that slowly reveals itself one square at a time. For a few minutes, fans are presented with a subtle yet noticeable one-eye sign. At this point, we already know that this is Elite-approved entertainment. The full picture shows Beyoncé wearing very little clothing. As you can see, there's a lot of exposed skin and flesh. This is human Beyoncé. In the first part of the show, she performs some of her slower or gospel-inspired R&B songs. However, during the first break, something transformative happens. The human Beyoncé transforms into a shiny robotic figure. This is where she goes from being a human to an artificial creation. As we've seen in previous videos, the elite likes to depict their industry slaves as androids who have been programmed through monarch mind control. And if you think that's too much, just keep watching, because the words mind control literally appear on the screen later in the show. There are moments in the show where we see two robotic versions of Beyoncé facing each other, representing the split personality of MK slaves. And on multiple occasions, we witness a peculiar image of Beyoncé with wings, riding a missile. It seems to hint at a war agenda, as there's even a whole segment of the show dedicated to it. Then, things take a different turn. The legs of the Beyoncé bot are spread, and there's a tunnel in the middle. Yes, the viewers are taken inside Beyoncé's things, which apparently goes very deep. At the end of the tunnel, Beyoncé bot appears inside herself and mimics horns on her head, showcasing who programmed her. Then, Beyoncé re-emerges in front of the crowd wearing a brand new outfit. She stands under a sun or star while donning a shiny android attire. This is a direct reference to the character Maria from the 1929 movie Metropolis. In the movie, the android Maria is depicted under an inverted pentagram. As we've discussed before, the movie Metropolis holds great significance for the occult elite, especially in the entertainment industry. Over the years, many female artists, including Beyoncé herself, have incorporated references to Maria in their performances. And there you have it. This is Beyoncé, just like she was about 13 years ago. There's a reason why this character from a weird German movie keeps showing up in pop culture. Her story is super relevant today. In the movie Metropolis, Maria is a charismatic leader who's adored and trusted by the working class. 
but then, some elite scientist kidnaps her and creates an android that looks just like her. They send this robot to the workers and use her to corrupt their morals and manipulate them into acting against their own interests. The movie culminates with robot Maria performing an erotic dance where she embodies Babylon, the great harlot of the apocalypse. Basically, Maria is the perfect figure to symbolize the role of pop stars in today's popular culture. During the show, there are a bunch of videos showing Beyoncé underwater, like she's in the womb, with all these tubes and gadgets attached to her. It's like she's being created and programmed by her handlers. And that pretty much sums up the whole show. There's a ton of symbolism in this picture. Beyoncé's entire body is made up of circuits, showing that there's no more human Beyoncé left. And the most important part is that she's got one eye hidden behind some electrical thingy, perfectly representing her status as a slave to the music industry. In the middle of the screen, there's a digital version of Beyoncé's face surrounded by different phases of the moon, which hints at some witchcraft involved in making this robot, just like in Metropolis. This other image is pretty powerful too. Beyoncé is literally chained up, but she's still holding a mic in her other hand. It's a clear representation of being a slave to the entertainment industry. Just like Maria from Metropolis, Beyoncé Bot has some messages to convey to her audience. Towards the end of the show, they hit the viewers with this spinning hypnotic pattern, while creepy sounds play in the background. And then, they display a message that's so incredibly ironic. The screen displays the quote, whoever controls the media controls the mind, which is attributed to Jim Morrison. The presence of this quote in the show is super ironic. Beyoncé is a product owned by the very people who control the media. Every aspect of her career is managed by the big shots in the media industry. Basically, those who control the media are straight up telling the viewers that they're controlling their minds. And then things get even more obvious from there. In a pretty disturbing part of the show, they display the words mind control to the audience. And as a bonus, right in the center of the word control, there's this figure on all fours that implies sexual submission, it's related to the beta kitten programming. After telling us that the media controls our minds, Beyoncé reappears as a media personality. In the song America Has a Problem, Beyoncé takes on the role of a robotic newscaster, and she just happens to be wearing horns that resemble Baphomet. Just like Maria in Metropolis, Beyoncé is used by the elite to send specific messages to the masses. And then, the show wraps up in the most Beyoncé way possible. She's lifted up in the air and hovers over the crowd like some kind of divine figure. So, in conclusion. The music industry loves to present Beyoncé as the queen of the music scene, and they didn't hold back to make the Renaissance World Tour a grand event fit for a queen. But when you look closely at the show's storyline, one thing becomes clear. Beyoncé is depicted as the total opposite of royalty. The show tells the story of a human singer who transforms into a robot slave through a mix of science and occult practices, kind of like monarch programming. As the show progresses, things get increasingly blatant. I mean, in one image, she is literally shackled while holding a mic. Can they make this clearer that this is all about mind control? I guess they can. Because they literally flash the words mind control later in the show. In short, the Renaissance World Tour told the story of Beyoncé's transformation from a soulful R&B singer into a tool of the elite that is reduced to slavery and people clap throughout the entire thing. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.